Hi guys! Today we're going to be making pumpkin pancakes. Let's start with the dry ingredients. We need all-purpose flour. Here I have sugar, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. The exact measurements are on my website, bestorganicreviews.com. Ground cinnamon and some ground cloves. I'm just going to mix this up well. For the wet ingredients, we need 3 quarters of a cup of milk, a bit of vinegar, oil, an egg, and pumpkin puree. We'll mix this up really well. I did add some freshly grated ginger to this. If you don't have fresh ginger, you could add a little bit of ground ginger to your dry mixture. Now we'll pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And mix thoroughly. You don't want to over mix this, just enough to incorporate all the wet ingredients and dry ingredients. Our batter is ready. Heat up a nice griddle. Before you make the pancake, you can put down a little bit of butter or oil. That's up to you. And pour your pancake batter on. It is thick, so you will have to nudge it a little to make a nice circle. Cook for about two minutes. If you're not sure, just lift up the pancake and see how it's brown on one side. Now we'll turn it over. Cook this for another minute or two. If you're not sure if the pancake is done, just touch the top lightly. And if it springs back, that means it's done. You can also see that the edges are cooked and they're not raw. Check the bottom and the bottom is nice and golden brown. So this pancake is ready. Here's our delicious stack of big fluffy pancakes. This recipe makes about four pancakes. You can easily double the recipe. The pancakes also freeze really well, so you can make a big batch and freeze it. And in the morning you can just take one out of the freezer, heat it up, and it's a really quick breakfast. I like to serve the pancakes with a little bit of butter on top and pure maple syrup. The pancakes are really tender and soft and delicious. The maple syrup is perfect with the pumpkin pancakes. You can also use honey if you'd like. I hope you'll try this easy and healthy pumpkin pancake recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.